Hello from Amsterdam Airport. I'm leaving very sad to leave because I love the city so much. But this is a glimpse of what's ahead. Basically, because I'm going to Vietnam. I'm excited, but I have really not planned too much yet. Should be good. Super, I'm kind of sick. I've gotten a lot of things. Hopefully, I won't be coughing the whole flight. I think it's like a 12 hour flight. I have a layover in Singapore. So I've made it to Singapore. This is my layover. It's about all, just about 6 a.m. I have four hours here. The first flight was good. I just watched a few movies, got some editing done. I think, yeah, that was pretty good. Now, I'm gonna try to find a lounge because I have that um, priority pass for my Chase Reserve card. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I've only used a lounge once ever before and it was very exciting, so figure I have four hours, might as well. So I've never been to Singapore, but I have been to this airport once before. I was here for like 12 hours or something crazy, but actually I think it's probably the best airport I've ever been to. They have like so many different things. There's even like a butterfly garden and all kinds of different gardens. And if you're ever stuck here, it's not a bad airport to be in. I mean, look at this garden they have. Alright, the lounge experience is so awesome. Just like so much free food and free drinks and everywhere you sit there's like a power outlet. So good. Ready for my next flight. Grab some food to go, croissant, and gotta go find my gate. This airport has a koi pond. Seriously, it's the best, best airport. I made it to Vietnam. I just clicked my bag and just went through customs and now I'm going to try and get a SIM card for my phone and then figure out how to get to the hostel. It's really hard to film while doing all this so maybe I'll just give you a recap later on all the processes. Cut to Mari who's currently editing this video who's going to tell you about the SIM card. So I looked it up online first and I saw that Vina phone was the cheapest. If you're also coming to Ho Chi Minh City and you want a SIM card, uh, once you collect your bags and you go through customs, you pass through some glass doors and you have to go all the way to the left hand side. Don't pass through the second set of glass doors yet. You could get either a 5 gigabyte, 10 gigabyte, 20 gigabyte, or even more. And that's good for a month, I believe. I thought like, oh, five gigabytes is probably enough. And then uh, maybe I should go for 10 though, just to make sure since I do a lot of social media. Um, then, however, they were sold out of the five and the 10. So they told me to get the 20, which seemed real excessive, but it was only $10 for the month. So I figured, I don't know. So I got 20 gigabytes, which now I've been here almost two weeks and I've only used like one gigabyte. So, you know, I have plenty left. But I will say it's come in handy so many times, so I'm so glad I got it. After that, I knew I had looked up online and I knew that I could take the bus into the city because the taxis are more expensive, especially when you're just one person. Like, it's not a very good deal to take a taxi. So I knew I could take local bus number 152. Uh, so I went outside, I asked some people where it was, it was a green bus and you just kind of get on and I was kind of confused at first what to do, um, but you just sat there and then somebody later comes and collects your money. This bus was 5,000 dong per person, however they charged me 10,000 because of my bag. Um, which I kind of understand the bag takes up an extra seat and still 10,000 is like 50 cents So I'm not that worried about it uh, But it was really easy and then it was a pretty easy walk from the bus stop to my hostel So not a problem at all I'm out eating dinner with some girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
we came to a fun shop place and yeah, so it's like noodle soup, but it comes deconstructed and you put it all together and it looks really good and it's highly recommended by Brooks. Thank you for recommending me to eat this. I'm excited to try it. She's a viewer that wrote me a lot of suggestions. Anyway, it's very exciting. Day one in Ho Chi Minh. I'm with my friend from the hostel. Hi, I'm Liang. And right now we're walking to the War Remnants Museum. I'm pretty interested to go there. I've heard some interesting things about it. I think it's just obviously from the US we learn about the Vietnam War from our history, but I know this one is from their history, so I'm interested to see. Um, pretty sh crazy streets, very hot day, but we're walking right now through a beautiful park and it feels very serene and cool and yeah, that's the update. <laughs> We've been at the museum and it's been it's been really interesting. I think it's been good. Have you liked it so far? Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah. It's very interesting. I feel like I've learned so much about the Vietnam War. I even studied history and political science, but it's been so long now actually that I've forgotten a lot of the stuff and obviously this is from a different perspective, so um but I think it is interesting and um also just really sad. I just war. Anyway. The museum closes at 12 for lunch, so we have to leave now and we're gonna go to a cafe and then we'll come back at one. Cause there's so much to see and we've just already been here for like kind of a while, but uh, yeah. Ah, yes. Come on. Super nice vibes in here. A lot of people just working on laptops and um, so hot. I have to get a good drink. <laughs> so happy to be back in Southeast Asia. I'm feeling kind of sick, so I'm hoping this coconut, you know, is gonna help me out. Really, I just like it. Okay, so I wanted to introduce Liang. So we met yesterday at the hostel. Um, we're both staying at the same one, and as soon as I walked in, she was there, and she recognized me from YouTube. So that was kind of crazy and cool, but. Uh, so we've been hanging out. I just thought I'd let you know a little bit about her because she's pretty interesting. She's from Germany actually and she's been living though in Phnom Penh in Cambodia for she'll be there five weeks total and I'll let her tell you about what she's doing. Hi, so actually I'm a dentist and I'm doing uh, voluntary work for um, it's a project which helps um, children and also adults to get free dental care. Sometimes we uh, work in the clinic and sometimes we take the tuk-tuk and strap the dental chairs to the tuk-tuk and go to the slums and set up in, for example, a school building. Yeah, it's been really interesting because it's different from normal work in Germany. Um, you get to interact with local people and see well, not the tourist stuff, like the, you see local people, you see the slums, you see different types of lifestyle and you get to appreciate what you have like, at home. Super interesting, good work. And now she's just in Vietnam for how long? Like a, um, a week? For five days. Yeah, five days because it's the uh, New Year's in Cambodia right now. How do you like Vietnam so far compared? Like, or what? Which, do you feel like it's similar or different? Um, I mean, it's still Southeast Asia, but here I see a lot of influences, I guess, from China. I've been to China before. I haven't really been here for a long time, so I, yeah. I don't really know. Yeah. Sorry, I'm putting her on the spot. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to know. I don't even know how to explain the differences between here and other places I've been in Southeast Asia, but uh, yeah, if you come to this area, I, I would recommend going to a few different countries because they all, I mean, obviously similar in some ways, but also very different because each of them has such a different history. Um, and I feel like the history of all the countries in this area are so difficult. They just play such a big role in how the countries are today. So, as with all countries, but a lot of pretty recent 
times in recent, I don't know how to explain this. It hasn't been that long since a lot has happened here, so uh, it's very interesting. I'm gonna resume my coconut. Okay. All right, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching this first half of my Ho Chi Minh City, getting to the airport and all of that. Stay tuned for the next episode where I go to some tunnels used in the Vietnam-American War. Also, just wanted to tell you, Leung has a really cool travel blog. She takes amazing photos and writes really awesome like captions and stories to go along with them. So definitely check it out. I'm gonna link it below. All right, thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more. See you later, bye.